On today's Bookends episode, we will talk about Michelle McNamara's book, I'll Be Gone in the Dark. We will also highlight another book club. And last, what are we currently reading? Indeed. Welcome. Hello, and welcome to the second bookends edition of It Was a Dark and Stormy Book Club. We're your hosts, Ann Dark and Tracy Stormy. And welcome back. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and a very special happy Mother's Day to my own mother, Ann Dark. Thank you very much, dear, and happy Mother's Day to you, too. We are... Mother's Day out. We <laughs> we had a great Mother's Day. Yes, we did. And we spent it with our families, and we're very happy. And we're now we get to spend some time with you. Yes. So the first thing we wanted to talk about was the greatest mystery of modern times. It's not a mystery, but Golden State Killer has just been been arrested and we both just read the book I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. It was published by Harper in February of 2018 and unfortunately Miss McNamara passed away before the book was finished but a team completed it for her and we just are fascinated with all the different twists and turns that this case has taken. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to share our thoughts with you. I originally had gotten on the list at the library to get this book, and I was fortunate enough to finally be able to download it. The day I downloaded it, it came across the news that he was captured. I almost felt like I took part in capturing the uh, Golden State Killer. This Joseph D'Angelo yes. is the man since then uh, been charged with all of the murders that the Golden State Killer has been suspected of. And I know this is not the type of book we'll normally be reviewing or talking about, but it was too good to not give it a mention. It was an amazing book. Yes, I highly recommend it, even for those who don't like more true crime. It's a very comprehensive book on how the police looked into the past I know he wasn't arrested yet, but Ms. McNamara was sure she had an idea of the perpetrator or where the perpetrator would be located. Parts of the book are very prophetic. In and, her... she, and it was amazing how much she did get right. Yes. Like Mom said, highly recommended. I, j the tenacity of this woman, what she was willing to do, she would talk about how she would just pour over something until the most minute detail would surface. And the clues that she actually found on her own that were later found to be helpful, uh, helpful to the case are really amazing. And I give props to her husband, Pat Patton Oswald. Oswald, who's a famous comedian, for making sure that her work was completed. It's and there a was a whole team that, that helped make that happen, and kudos to them. I really liked how whenever a part would come up, they would let you know these were Michelle's notes because she didn't write this book from beginning to end. She wrote it in areas where she got more information. So some chapters were not finished. So they would let you know these are from her notes or this is from an interview because they wanted to give her as much props as possible. The book is an excellent read. It's one that I couldn't stop reading. I had to find out 
what was coming next. It was excellent, and even it, though I knew. Yeah, it gave it a whole other dimension, knowing what the outcome was going to be. And I think there's still quite a bit we all do not know. I hope he's forthcoming with details because I think these families need closure. And speaking of the families, how wonderful for them. It's never going to bring these people back. But just to know that they know that they that got this, a little justice in this. They world. got justice, and that no other family is ever going to suffer under his horrible reign. Yes, that was. It's well worth the read. I recommend it highly. Yes. So. So now we're going to move on to do a segment on a book club that's going on somewhere in the world. It can be anywhere. So like we said, if you have a book club that you'd like us to highlight, please contact us. We would love to highlight them all. Anything that brings focus on mystery readers and writers, we want to do that. This mystery book club is called the East Bay Mystery Readers Group. It was formed in January of 1994. The group meets from 7 to 9 p.m. on the first Tuesday of every month. We reached out to this book club, and they were kind enough to respond and answer some questions. So we'll give you a little of, a little of the information they provided us. The first question was, when did your group begin? And like Mom said, in 1994. How often do you meet the first Tuesday of each month unless there's a holiday? Then we move it a week. How many members do you have? We have 36 active local members comprised of approximately 10 to 18 people, not always the same ones who come to each meeting, including six men at this point. We have a total of 115 members nationwide and worldwide, former members who have moved away and people who have heard about us through friends. After each meeting, I send out a meeting recap email with our comments as to what people thought of the book we discussed. Then there are another 90 people in addition to the 115 to whom I just send the monthly reviews. Wow, that's, that's, a that's pretty impressive. Good-sized club. How do you select the books that you read? I select our three books per month. Wow, three a month. But I also love recommendations from our members. Where are the meetings held? My place now since 2016 when we outgrew our, our local indie bookstore. We don't do refreshments. We are truly a book club. Okay. They have a website if you're interested. www.ebmrg.org. We will put all this information in the show notes. Yes. Goodreads, ha they have a group which is called 2176-EBMRG. Their meetup is East Bay Mystery Readers Group, and there are uh, dashes between each And like word. I said, all this will be in the and show that. notes if you're, you're interested in contacting this group. And then the book review site is books are magic one word dot blogspot dot com l j roberts who is the moderator for this group has been a professional reviewer since 2004 at for strand magazine it's estimated that his reviews have been seen by over 13,000 people. He reviews for Mystery Readers Journal magazine. We'll put this whole email in the show notes. The moderator states that each month we discuss three books which have been chosen previously by the group. Some people will have read all three, some only one, and some haven't had a chance to read any of the books. But we still like people to come. Our remote members are welcome and encouraged to send in their comments prior to the meeting so they can be included. The agenda for the meeting is... Discussion of the selected books. This is not a heavy discussion. We don't get into what was the meaning behind. But do more like hated it. Why? Whether you would read more by the author. Kind of what we do. What else did you read? Round the group discussion, 
we talk we each talk briefly about other books we've been reading during the month wow this is sounding more and more like what we do (laughs) i think i want to be a member of this i do too we'd have to do it remotely (laughs) selection of future books it is helpful if members arrive early to troll the store's mystery section and pull books which look interesting for them to nominate. We then review the possible selections and vote on which to read two months out. Now, they select the three books for two months out. The books must be available in paperback or available from the library, so they don't require you buy them from the bookstore. And we try to have different types of books A cozy, medium, dark, and very dark, so that everybody has at least one book that appeals to them. We try to keep this, but with more books being released as trade paperbacks, we will occasionally select one in that format. New members, both local and remote, are welcome. That is awesome. And I want to thank this book club for giving us the opportunity to highlight them and we hope you check them out because they sound pretty interesting yes if you're in the oakland california area definitely you love mysteries there you go there you go or if you want to contact them remotely but you can also contact us too don't forget (laughs) yes you can join us remotely Or them. Or both. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, Like we said, we're going to try to keep this short. And I thought we would end with what we currently are reading that doesn't have to do with the podcast. I am reading two books at the current time. I'm reading The City of Endless Night by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. It's the number 17 book in the Agent Pendergast series, and it's one of my favorite series. I love those books. The other book is a a number one book. I haven't read this author before. The book is called Killer Trust. It's by C.M. Larmer, L-A-R-M-E-R, and it's number one in the Ghostwriter mystery. I've just started it. I'm not sure what it's going to turn out to be, but so far it's not a bad read. I am currently reading A Brush with Shadows by Anna Lee Huber. It's a historical mystery. It's actually number six in the Lady Darby mystery series. I am really enjoying it. I love historical mysteries. I just get lost in the world that they create, and I can't wait to keep reading this. I didn't know this was a series when I got it. I I keep doing that, but I think they did a very good job of filling you in on what was going on, so I don't feel like I missed anything. But I I do know that Lady Darby was married to somebody else at some point in the book, so I think I will go back and read those other books. Well, are any events coming up that we would like to let people know? Oh, we do. Yes. On our next book review podcast, where we reviewed the book of Lauren Carr named Ice, we're very, very very excited that we will have our very first author interview with live interview with Miss Carr. We've so, done interviews, but they've all been on paper. And this one, we are going to speak to her on the phone this week, and we are just so excited. Yes, I I hope you finish reading Ice and you comment or uh, send Give us your review. Send email us at. Dark and Stormy Book Club at gmail.com. We'd love to have your thoughts and reviews. Or visit our website. It was a Dark and Stormy Book Club, all one word, dot com. And that will give you the links to Facebook and Twitter. And we will have in our show notes all the contact information for the East Bay Reading Group. And we also have a Patreon. Every little bit helps. Yes. And we are just chugging along now. I think we're 
starting to get the hang of this. We're still not super good at it, but we hope you'll stick with us. And you will listen to us and give us a rating. Or oh, yes, please. Especially give us a like. We really appreciate those. If and you listen on iTunes, 